Okay, so, um, we need to get into the sealed forest, but to get into there, we need 35 seals. We have 31, and a single expedition will be getting us five now. Oh, interesting. So it's actually, you get more based on your distance. I didn't realize that. I thought it was based on difficulty. Um, so we can go up here for five. We don't need that. I'd rather just head back this way. We'll do the coral forest, coral forest, royal woodlands. We go up here. Uh, we get fewer few stuff, food stuff if we go there, actually. 60 versus 91. I'd much rather get 91. That's 84. And then we could go 1, 2, 3. Yeah, we'll do this. Coral forest, we get 84 food stuffs, 4 seals. Um, and the reason I don't want to go further is because it does reduce our embarkation points to be further along here. So I'd rather just have 6. <laughs> Uh, we can start with eight beavers, or five humans and two lizards. Of these, I think the eight beavers is a much stronger start. We have, first of all, just a higher population, eight versus seven, and they each come with an additional, additional two people. The beavers get us going with woodcutting and, uh, and engineering and stuff like that. Like They're pretty useful for those early game jobs. Uh, humans are not terribly useful for early game jobs. I guess some foraging, and lizards are more useful for later game. So I, I, I imagine these are the three species we'll be encountering. So we'll have beavers, humans, and lizards. And that's perfectly fine by me. We will grab some stone, we'll grab some clay, and some people. And that will be a good start. Let's embark. Drizzle is the calmest season, a time of growth and regeneration. Hmm, yes. So diverse flora means that we will get distinct bonus resources when we cut down trees, just random stuff. Inspiring pressure gives us a higher chance of producing double yields for each hostility level, which is really cool. Um, intensive mutations. Living organisms in this region are mutated and much larger than in other places. Doubles the amount of secondary resources gathered from trees. Whoa. Okay, so the diverse flora gives us random resources and this doubles it during the drizzle season. Cool. Looming darkness. Flooded roads. Travel cost of trade routes increases by two. No contact. Gaining reputation doesn't lower impatience during the storm. I always work around that, even when I don't have it. Strange lights. Um, villagers with this effect have 20% chance of destroying the yield with each production cycle. That's a real bummer. Uh, but if we have services, then it offsets it. And I like going for services. Downpour. Villagers with this effect have a 50% chance of consuming double the amount of food during a break. But if you have housing and services, then it doesn't affect us. So really, if like we just do our due diligence in keeping our villagers comfortable, we don't have anything affecting us here. Travel cost of trade routes, I still don't know what that actually does, but I keep forgetting to use trade routes, so it doesn't affect us. This thing doesn't affect us because we're always working around it anyway. And these two things are just put off, you know, like they're, they're canceled by us giving services. So cool. Not that I always have services for all three species, I guess, but... We'll, we'll we'll aim it for it. We'll go for that. So woodcutters camp. We can open up some space back here. And times three to get some building going. I don't know why I clicked that. I was I, did, I was just thinking cornerstone, but there's no cornerstone available yet. And we'll build some paths. Put some beavers into these things. We have some makeshift. We need a crude workstation. That's what it is. Build another path down to that. And here's a cornerstone. What are we doing? Sharp sickles, herb production, leather production, force of nature, no. Three roots per minute. Mm, pretty mediocre. They're, like, we don't need roots for anything. They're nice to have, but it's not amazing. So, are we using our reroll already? This is sad. We have insects and reeds, so we don't need. Oops, that was a misclick. Sorry. We don't. We don't know that we'll be getting any of these things. Ah, and I don't need roots. Alright, we're re-rolling. Too bad. Lost in the wilds. Gain one villager every time you discover a new glade. Meh. Production yields for all packs of goods is improved. Meh. Um, leisure need. Have 20% chance of doubling their yields. So this is interesting, actually. The different caravans do not share the same species. So we have beavers, lizards, and harpies. Between these, we have two people wanting coats. We have, uh, in terms of services... We actually have very little crossover. We have education as a crossover, and that is it. 
Okay, so that's rough. So these two things that want us to do services for our people are actually going to impact us. Hmm. Um, pies are good for two people. Biscuits are good for two people. So we have a decent amount of crossover for complex foods. I think I want to aim for the services, so we're actually going to be going for several different services. Uh, let's go back to the keystone here. Which means... Leisure. Leisure only affects the beavers. So that's not worth picking. Woodcutting speed is increased? Mm, I don't know. I don't care. I don't care about that. Production yields for packs of goods means we could turn our raw resources... Okay. If we're not going... Here's a thought. If we're not going for um, complex foods, turning raw resources into packs of goods means we can trade them away, right? So we trade them away on trade routes and stuff and get a bunch of amber to buy whatever we need. Okay. Export specialization. This is going to be interesting. We'll see how it works out. Now, our choices. We have a temple for religion and education. Religion, uh, religion for these guys, education for these guys. And these guys. So that seems like a good first pick. Upgrading our forges camp is nice. Forges hut uh, for treatment. We don't need treatment if we have education and a ranch. So it's between the forger's camp and the temple. I think I'm going with the temple. We are going to be playing a risky game here. Uh, tinctory for ale and wine and pigment. Three things that we will want. We'll want leisure. Uh, no, we won't. We won't want luxury. Well, we could use luxury. Maybe we get a tavern or something. Uh, yeah, maybe we get a tavern. That only benefits the beavers, though, and they'll be covered by... Actually, what am I saying? Religion? <laughs> Religion and education covers all three of our species just like that. We're done. So we need... We need scrolls and pigment. Uh, and we need incense. So looking at this, we have scrolls and, and pigment right here. Or we have, we have pigment anyway. So let's take that. Yep. And scrolls. We don't have any scrolls. We don't have any incense. So next best is maybe the water skins. Because it gives us two star fabric. Although the brickyard does give us three star bricks. And it gives us pottery. So I think the brickyard is pretty good. Packs of provisions for trading though. Ooh, yeah, we want that. Yeah, we want the provisioner for the packs of provisions. Okay. Well, that was our choices. Um, judge me, if you will. I am going to build first... I'm going to build first the sentence speak. And then I'm going to worry about the temple and those sorts of things. We'll put some beavers in here. We don't need pipes. Nope, nope, nope. I always misclicked that one. Uh, don't need to use stone for our bricks. And we'll go with that. What do we have for orders? We have... Do some trading. We can do that. We get some parts from this one. I Last game I found out that parts are actually important. We have 17 parts total. Uh, but we're doing trading for sure. So we'll take that. I mean, we're going to be getting people for sure as well. So whatever. But uh, we also did already pick the um, specialization for packs of stuff. Two geyser pumps for those things, or building materials. We'll do the building materials. And rebuild or salvage ruins, build a trading post and trade. We're going to be doing that. I, I like the steel and pickaxes and stuff, but uh, I'm just going for the easiest things right now. We want to build provisioner, I think, just early. There you go. Now... Insects and reeds. We'll build our trappers and we'll build our uh, harvesters. We do need houses, of course. You guys can do that. I think we'll open up a small glade. Do we go for this dangerous glade right away? Hmm. We don't have our foxes. That makes me sad. So a rain punk drill would get us two to three coal deposits. That's okay. Or copper and tools. I much prefer the copper and tools, but we're going to hold on to our stone. Let's open up the dangerous glade. Put these guys over here. And 
And what was that sound? I do not know. We're doing okay on wood? 30 wood. Why do we have 300 wood when we had a bunch of humans in there? Hmm, it might have been the the, uh, the biome, actually. The biome might have been the one that gives us extra wood. Oh, what is all this stuff? A tool shop. Tool shop can be made to use tools. Can use, whatever, be used to make tools. I think I said that correctly. Um, packs of luxury goods. Packs of trade goods. Maybe we can make use of that. We, we picked our pack specialization. Uh, we have a plantation right here. Okay, look at this. This is amazing. Getting all this stuff. And we have a termite burrow for free termites. Oh, joy. Oh, we need two more tools. Ah, uh, Two more tools. We can salvage this for tools. I think we'll do that real quick. Use... We can use some stone for this one. Somebody... We need... Mm, yeah, that's fine. This person can gather that, and then we can do this one afterwards. And while we're doing it, we will have minus five to global resolve. We'll do that after the storm. All right. Yeah, cool. Bunch of tools, bunch of planks. We can make use of those planks to rebuild this thing. And we have a smithy as well. We might use that. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to make a decision there. We can use the stone to break this open. We get pigment and scrolls. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. How lovely. Uh, no, we're not sending it to the Citadel. This is stuff we want. Oh, we'll wait. We'll wait for people to be available for it. We can build that temple. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll hold off. All right. So first storm, we are going to be losing people, as per usual. Having some houses up would probably help. No contact. Yeah, tra trade route cost is increased. Are we building this? What's going on here? Guys, a trapper left. Uh, scout left. That's our scout. Okay, hold on. We are going to take... How are we doing on wood? 61 wood. We're not doing amazingly well on wood. Hmm. Well, we're taking out a couple guys and putting them in here. Tool shop. Oh, actually, no. We want to work on this one after the storm. Hang on. Yeah, we'll just put one guy in here. That's fine. Oh, of course. We didn't have any builders. That's why they weren't building it. <laughs> How unfair of me to be upset about that. Trade hub. Okay, so... Gain reputation every time you sell goods worth 60 amber. Yeah. Hmm. Mist pierces, no. Cheap construction, no. Rebellious spirits, yes. I think I'm taking that. <laughs> this is so easy. I, I love that. Uh, two people. I think we want lizards right now. For the trapping and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, where is that trapper? Go get us some food, please. And the termite burrow, of course. So, this is uh, an empathy thing. Of course, we'll send a lizard to be empathetic with the bugs that they eat. Alright. These, yeah, we know they left. They left, we are disappointed in them. We need more people! So, cache here, we could disassemble for some tools. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. This cache we want for the scrolls and pigment. We'll put a guy on there to break that open, and we'll build a temple soon. Now, what do we have here? So, deliver 50 meat, get some training gear, get some lizards. Um, better packs of goods. I think we have to do that. And packs of goods are produced quicker. Packs of trade goods and crops. We'll pick that. That just goes in line with what we're planning to plan to do. Uh, neighborhood level 2, I can certainly get that done. And builders can carry additional items, I don't care. Tools, amber, decent stuff. Need for jerky fulfilled? We get better egg production. I will take this one. I don't see eggs on the map. <laughs> and these guys, we'll just move them out here. I think we'd rather get some meat right now. I, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Now, packs of luxury goods. Do we have something? No, packs of trade goods is what we want. Oh, we broke down the thing that gives us trade goods, didn't we? We didn't get any trade goods out of it. Oh, no. 
Well, that might have been a whoops. Uh, Trapper left. No way! Why are you guys so unhappy? Oh no! A scout left! But the termites... Okay, what can we do to make you guys happy? Like, am I missing something? We, did we... Do you guys want a house? Would a house help? Do you want shelter? How shallow of you? Um... How can we... Get more housing here? Okay, get a beaver out of that. We are lacking people and they're just leaving us because... We don't have the people to do the jobs that would make them happy. Rough. We need you lizards! No! Another trapper left! No more meat for the lizards. Well, they're not unhappy anymore. Actually, you know what? Cancel those houses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't need those houses anymore. Alright. Let's build houses for other people. For the people that are willing to stay through the thick and the thin. Oh, man. Oh, we're, we don't have harpies either? When did that happen? Alright, beavers. You guys are the... Hold on. Beavers, we don't need anyone else. Just just build yourselves some nice houses and be happy. Be proud of yourselves. Uh, how are we doing on planks? 18 planks. Holy crap. How many people left? I, uh, I didn't realize the harpies were gone. It, maybe we only started off with one harpy to begin with. I should have had them in the ancient hearth, but it doesn't matter because they left anyway. Wow. Incredible. We are not doing so well. Are we... Yeah, there we go. We're building a house. Good. Alright. Termites. We're getting food. Uh, this guy is working on it quite slowly, but there you are. You got his pigment and scrolls. We want a temple. Build the temple. Behind the hearth. And we want some decorations as well. We'll put the we'll put the decorations around the temple. Move this side. All right. So I'm really excited for when we get more people. It's going to be a big help. Look at all these things that are waiting to be worked on. We have stone over there. Stone cutters camp. Let's put that up. We have coal we could be mining. Alright. Cornerstone. You get lots of people all of a sudden. Nope. 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 Alright. Traders will have one more perk or blueprint for sale. Meh, I'm not as excited by that. Uh, exploration contract. I think I am excited by this one. Gain 20 reeds and 20 clay for each discovered glade. Pretty sure we'll just take that. Discover some glades, get some clay. And people, please. No, oh, why is it only three people? You get some clay or we could get some copper bars. I think we'll take some copper bars. Those lizards have not been friendly to us. No, we need the lizards. We need lizards. And harpy can work here. And that gets us plus five global carrying capacity, which is incredible. All right. Now, we have a plantation. Do we bother rebuilding it right now? I don't think we do. There are other things people can work on, including cutting stone. Yeah, you know what? We actually should be cutting stone, shouldn't we? For the events that we can use them with. Like this one. Provisioner. Hold on. What do you have? Eggs. You got so much stuff. Let's turn off the barrels, turn off the flower, and I think we'll install... Oh, we don't have any rain collection, so we won't bother with the rain engine just yet. But uh, packs of provisions would be good. They're doing their stuff. Now, what do we have in terms of actually making packs of things other than provisions? We have a tinctury, which we can't use quite yet. Hold on. Right, right, right. Incense. We need an incense. We need some scrolls as well, of course. Uh, we're waiting on blanks, apparently. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it as is. No, we won't. We need the building materials. 
Okay. Clearance time. We we're getting close to when we were going to be losing some people. Uh, use clearance water. 125 clearance water in rain engines. Pretty easy to do. The rewards, the rewards are not amazing. Traders arrive more quickly. Sell but goods. Yeah, we'll be doing this one. I sure hope. Uh, leisure. Leisure or deliver 20 packs of luxury goods. The rewards are not there for the luxury goods. That's actually really disappointing. 14 leisure. Hmm. That would be our beavers. I don't see myself doing that. This one's a maybe. I don't think we'll ever do that. I don't think we'd be accomplishing either of them, really. So, guys. Houses, perhaps? It's a good thing we have rebellious spirits. We're getting three global resolve right now from it. Soon to be four, I think. Yeah. Uh, this has not been upgraded because we haven't built the garden yet. Gardens cost planks. Planks are scarce. Okay, they're working on it, though. You guys are doing good. You're doing, you're doing well. I'm going to put this at 20, this at 20, and this at 20. Just to make sure they're not overdoing it on things we don't need. Uh, oh, hey, luxury goods. Yeah, I think we'll be breaking this down for luxury goods. Alright. For some stone, we can do that. Actually, we can do it for some reeds. Sure. We don't have any people, I forgot. Yeah, this isn't a struggle. Look at our impatience grow. I can feel it. Um, I just want people. Where have all the good people gone? Dang it. We still haven't gotten any reputation. We're waiting for the temple to be built. I think that's going to be a big help. Although it's only going to be a help for education. But our people are not leaving this storm. Hooray! Huzzah! We're building another house here. For the beavers. Good job, builder. And what next? What will be built next? Ten planks. Yeah, see, we had the opportunity, I think, to build a lot. Wait, maybe, no, maybe we didn't. I don't know. Yeah, not being able to get planks very easily is kind of rough. Maybe we should build that trading post. Trading post. Save us, please. Build a trading post when you can. Uh, Woodcutter's Prayer for better wood production. We don't need that. Survivor Bonding. I don't think we need that. Hang on, let me double check. <gasps> no, I don't want to unpause anyway. Thank you so much for warning me there. Holy crap. Uh, wood, 52. We're actually not doing amazingly well in wood production, but I'm not going to take Woodcutter's Prayer when we have Survivor Bonding. Farsight's not needed. Rich Glades is nice. I'm taking the Survivor Bonding, though. Plus one Global Resolve. Villagers move more quickly, meaning they get stuff done quicker. Ah, finally... No, five people. I misread that. I thought it was six people. Still, five people. We'll take it. Um, We got a another one of those. We need this garden done. Woodcutter's camp has no suitable trees. I can find you suitable trees. Let's open some of these. Uh, you can actually... Let's go for the dangerous glade. How are we doing on stone? 36 stone. All right. And so... The reason I checked that is 36 stone can get some tools, which we might need in this glade for the glade event, or we might need some stone in the glade event. So I think I personally put a lot of value in stone. Uh, hello, Old Farleth. All right, quickly, before we talk to Old Farleth, let's have a look at what's over here. Uh, we would get packs of trade goods, which we do need for something, and some planks, which we're having troubles generating. Uh, leather worker, cool, cool. Fallen beaver traders. Decay spawns at least two blood flowers. At least. Could be up to 20. Who knows? Fallen beavers. So minus 12 to beaver resolve. We don't want to be upsetting our beavers. We'd get salted jerky for better jerky production. We'd get some parts. We'd get some battle of plant fire. But not exciting. But this is very expensive for 0.5 um, reputation. So I think we will rob the dead. Feels a little bit bad. Is the storm coming? Next clearance. Let's do this now. I'll send some beavers to do this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> They're going to go rob their own dead. Um, we have a cache. We could grab some bricks out of. Meh. We'll leave that cache for the time being. Now, Old Farleth, what do you have for trade? I'm 
<laughs> Not excited by what I see. Woodcutting, barrel production, stone production, and reputation lowers impatience more. I usually find once we get our reputation going, though, we don't really need to lower the rep the impatience anymore. So I don't really need this. 100 packs of provisions. Hang on. Uh, let's just quickly cancel that, guys. We don't need 100 packs of provisions. Let's stop at 50. 50 is probably a good number. So more importantly, we can sell stuff. Fabric? You can use more fabric. Uh, reeds, clay, reeds, stone, training gear. We don't have training gear. What do we do here? We could trade here. So reeds and clay. A bunch of reeds. We don't have the clay. Or, uh, we could trade the stone away. That's actually a really good trade rate. And we can make more. Let's do these two. So Silib is a good place to trade with. We'll we'll get more happiness with them because we're trading so much with them. So sell and sell. And that will get us 32 amber. So we can trade that with somebody. Okay, hold on. Now that we know that's happening, maybe we... What can we do? We can trade this guy for... Quick check. What else does Silib have? Silib wants training gear. Now we'll hold off. We'll just wait. The next trader will hopefully have um, incense for us. Incense and scrolls, because we don't have a way to produce scrolls yet. What is this? A leather worker gets us fabric. But we could also get trade goods from it. And trade goods would be useful for this. We need 15 trade goods. We don't have any way to produce the remaining five, though, so... Yeah. Luxury goods, we have no way of getting that. Amber trade, we'll be doing that at some point soon. Deliver packs of building materials. Actually, we do want to do that one. Deliver 10 amber. Well, we'll be getting that one soon, right? Oh, no, no, we, we, like, we, we need the amber. So we'll be getting that once our trade routes are finished. Two hearths. Oh, have two hearths for upgrading the neighborhood. I missed that. I thought it was just one hearth. That's fine. We'll build another hearth. Not a problem. Um, okay, so building materials. Let's get those. And actually, hang on. Do we have a more efficient one? No, just the makeshift post. Let's build the makeshift post. Uh, over here. We'll just put it back here. The old fire lift is hanging out there. We could rebuild the plantation. Harvester's camp is out. Move it. Lots of reeds everywhere. And the uh, trappers. Where is the trapper? We could put another. No, we can't put another lizard in there. We only have the one. That's all right. They're doing a good job. Uh, Harvest camp has no. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, there you go. Makeshift post. We'll put a beaver in there. And don't bother making packs of provisions. We're doing fine on that. But packs of building materials would be helpful. We actually have a plethora of bricks. How about that? So let's turn off everything else and turn on the plethora of bricks. So you can use that to make up to five building materials. All right. And does that show us? So it shows us that it makes plus three. It makes three because we have a plus one. That's really good. That is quite good, isn't it? So this thing, we want to get this done as soon as we can, but we don't have the trade goods or the packs of crops. Let's allow packs of crops. We want 15 of those, apparently. All right. All right. So hopefully the next trader will have... Uh, trade goods. I don't know. They don't sell trade goods. What am I saying? We have to make those ourselves. We need a blueprint for it. We need the reputation. Reputation. Yeah. All right. Give me a blueprint with trade goods on it. Luxury goods is good. Uh, it's only one star though. But we also don't have a whole lot else on here. I guess training gear we're not using. Let's reroll. Let's reroll. A forum. We don't need the forum. Packs of luxury goods again, but that's definitely better because we get two-star fabric. Let's take the leather worker. Yep. That's something. So, build a leather worker. We'll put him out here, I guess. And build a path this way to connect the two. Alright. Plantation could be worked on. We're still lacking people. We don't need that anytime soon. So, the leather worker. Harpies are good at that. 
and they will be making us some fabric and some luxury goods out of ooh don't use that don't use that ah shoot we should have bought the training gear off of old Farloff. we only need was it 20 i think it was 20 let's check uh luxury 20 good yep so fabric let's turn the fabric off here that's not needed we do want to put a limit at let's say 40 because we can trade it now let's look at our trade routes so one is for tools one tool gets us three amber i am a fan and then we can just buy the amber back parts oh insects we have tons of insects yeah we'll sell you that uh we are not selling our scrolls nope let's trade our five tools for 15 amber cool we can we can buy them back at a better rate than that oh we don't have anybody working in the temple and we want lizards in the temple too bad they didn't hang around uh let's take how are we doing on wood we take woodcutters we are lacking wood ah old old beaver man we don't need you making fabric in that inefficient workplace is there anything you know we don't need two people in here get two people get one of them out we'll put one of them in here and put a beaver into this wood place because we don't want to be running out of wood it's somewhat vital all right cool so now our people will be educated which would certainly help look at that bam harpies are happy reputation please and what else do we get there can be nothing more sacred than a flame in a world soaked with rain for every 300 seconds oh yeah spent sacrificing goods in the ancient hearth hostility is reduced by minus 20 sacrificing multiple resources at the same time will progress this affects chimer faster that doesn't help us whatsoever we're not planning to sacrifice goods we even have stuff to sacrifice 24 coal that's it um i guess we could build a coal mine over here actually but that's not high on my to-do list um okay packs of goods for even faster pack of good production yeah we'll do that now 15 and 15 and we have lots of provisions uh building materials we'll put this to 15. we're out of these things apparently and 10 ouch you know what yeah you can use copper that's fine use copper Hmm. And fabric. We, we have lots of reeds. Reeds can be made for fabric. Used for fabric. And we have more efficient fabric production, so... Of all the things, that seems to make the most sense. We're lacking four houses. We should build some houses. Uh, we have... We have two harpies. Let's build some harpy houses. Those cost fabric. We have some. Uh, new trader. Oh, hold on. Cornerstone. Filling dish. Forge production. Doesn't matter. We're not using it. Metallurgic proficiency. We're not using that. Dye extractor. Five pigment for every ten insects produced. And we're getting free insects every minute. I think that applies. So that just gets us free pigment. That's amazing. Whoa. We're taking that. I think that's probably going to apply, right? We get five insects per minute. So every two minutes we get another five pigment. Holy cow. That's perfect. Um, what do we want from here? Pottery? Five people or four people? We'll go with five people. And trade route. We can trade crystallized dew. We don't have a use for it. Sure. Off to Silibi go. Oh, look at that. We're already at two. We're getting some more here. We're not trading our stone now. Sorry, Silib. Actually, that's not even a very good rate, is it? Uh, reeds. We don't have a ton of reeds. And it's not getting us much to do it. <laughs> Only four amber. Plant fiber? We have a lot of plant fiber, apparently. Yeah, sure, okay. We'll sell... Oh, wait, let's look, see what else, because we are running out of roots. Uh, plant fiber up here. So 12 for 3, or 11 for 3? Okay, we'll go with the 11 for 3. Thanks. Look at all the amber. Wow. Uh, we need another trader soon. So Hilda. Um, okay, so packs of provisions are being made. That's great. 
Orders. We have orders we can complete. So this one gets us better lumber production. We want that for sure. This one gets us faster traders. We want that for sure. We want that for sure. All right, look at us go. Bam. Three blueprints. Uh, we already have good fabric production. Pack of trade goods, though. Two-star pack of luxury goods. Do we... I can't remember. We got a leather worker for one star pack of luxury goods. We'll just have to put up with that. We'll, uh, we'll have to use that. Three star fabric, one star trade goods. I'm not excited by it. I think we go for the skewers and jerky. Or our people like the jerky, so yeah, we'll use that. Butcher. Uh, herbalist camp upgraded is nice. I think there were berries around. I can't remember now. And a guild house for luxury. We're not making wine. I think we'll take the herbless camp upgrade. And a cellar, distillery. Uh, we want scrolls. Give me scrolls. Do we want the small farm? No. I want scrolls. I'm going to click reroll. Incense, one star. Not ideal, but it is three star jerky. Right after we already picked something else for jerky. We can go three star brick, actually. Or upgraded Trapper's Camp. Hang on. Trapper's Camp. We only have one stars so far. So it's not that we're in need of a better Trapper's Camp. We have two star jerky though. We're like, I don't need to pick a three star one. Yikes. All right. Those so that. We also need more. Um, more buildings, more houses. Let's build another hearth. Another hearth over here. And we'll put some houses there. No contact. Okay, so services. Not affecting everybody. Apparently we have religion though, so that's nice. Oh, we're out of education? Are you serious? Oh no. Yikes. So, what have you got for us? Oh no, these are not the things I was looking for. Plant, fi plant fiber for vegetables produced. That's fine. Fuel burns 25% longer. Uh, arm and buildings have higher storage capacity. Oh no. What am I supposed to do with my 63 amber? This isn't what I wanted. Do we actually, like, when she's gone, can we move for free? Oh yeah, that's the building. When she's gone, do we spend half an impatience point just to summon another trader right away? That might be the best idea. Fuel burns for longer. Let's take that. Sure. I don't know. I don't know if that's any help to us. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's not a whole lot here that actually helps us. I guess we could buy some clay. Thank you for the clay. Alright. Uh, butcher, we can put one guy in here. He can work on the jerky and, and, and the skewers, sure. But we'll boost the jerky up. And not use the jerky to make skewers. Actually, let's just turn off the skewers. Jerky keeps two of our people happy. Oil turning. Not the meat. Not the vegetables. Grain and plant fiber into oil. That's okay. Sure. And then we can sacrifice it. Okay, so Sahilda's there. Ooh, okay, okay, hold on. We have we do have a harpy in here. Which means we want to put a lizard in here for the global resolve. Why are the lizards always gone? Okay, we'll put a beaver in here for the time being. Now, packs of trade goods. I think we're doing that one. We have the leather worker. Where is he? Right here. We just don't have anything to actually turn into trade goods. Or luxury goods. Same thing. Um... All right, we're going to do this. We'll assign a worker. Yeah. You can do that with some clay. Sure. And what else do we have? He doesn't have anything to do because packs of provisions are plentiful. We'll send somebody yeah. to rebuild this. Go for it. This gets us luxury goods, which we certainly need. Uh, we'll send somebody to do that. Thank you. And we have the hearth built. We need more buildings, more houses. And some harpy houses. And 
And that should be enough. That should be enough. So, another farm. We don't have any farms, right? We have that upgraded. New blueprint. Okay. Trapper's camp upgrade, brickyard, pool shop, and smokehouse. Yeah. Yeah. 10 amber to reroll. Coats. That gets us pigment, but we actually have a source of pigment. Packs of building materials and training gear or something. Incense for one star. I think we have to do that. Like, one star incense is not exciting. But apothecaries are our only other option, so we'd be holding out for a while. We'd have to get lucky to cash that. So, yeah, we'll take the Druid's Hut. Which means, what was producing oil? Don't produce oil here, because we can get three star oil. Uh, Druid's Hut, we'll go right there. So Hilda's still hanging around. That's fine. Do we have a lot of tools? 27. 27 is an okay amount. Alright, bye Sahilda. Hello, Sother. So that's half an impatience point, and I'm okay with it. Because we'll be we'll be getting reputation to good right now. Especially if we can keep our services up. Our services, yes. Incense. We want that. Uh scrolls, we want that. Sother, you are the best. Uh we want the wine and the other stuff so we can make luxury goods. 48. Um, we actually don't have enough to trade, do we? We can trade some packs of building materials. Is that efficient? Isn't it like 10 planks for 3 building materials? I don't know how much planks trade for, but I don't know if that's really that efficient. 0 0.35, 0 0.27, 0 0.20. Okay, so ale and, uh, and wine are cheaper than training gear. That's interesting. Alright, well we're good with that. We'll trade this. Actually, what does he have here? He has generous donation. Which, ironically, is kind of useful if you're constantly summoning traders. An apothecary for two-star <laughs> incense. This game makes fun of me. It makes fun of me, I swear. We, we just said that the apothecary is unlikely to show up. And then he shows up immediately. Uh, storm shield per minus storm duration and builders can carry additional items. Do I do this? No, I don't. We have one star incense. We'll be fine with that. Also, we, we, we can buy the incense when we need to. Somewhat. Uh, we don't need these building materials. So let's get rid of those. And then I'm going to turn off the building material making. Actually, hold on. Sorry. Quick check. Um, well, I guess for one thing, maybe we do need them. We can trade them away. Okay, we can't trade them away right now. So we won't worry about it. Uh, we do need packs of crops. Oh, and we do be need building materials. I was wrong. So let's not trade them away. Or let's do it and then we'll make more. That That's another option. Uh, not that. Oh yeah, I can just right click this. That's great. How wonderful. So that and... We can make more packs of provisions. They're half each. 42? Yeah, sure. Alright. Sweet. Thank you, sir. I'm so glad you showed up. And we're able to help us. We are making luxury goods. Where is that? Luxury goods. We have a limit of 20. And we can use these things. Great. So these guys are running off to get some incense. And hopefully some scrolls as well. Uh, Sother is here. Woodcutters camp needs to be moved. Okay. No pro not a problem. We will do so. We should also build a path out here. Uh, this makeshift post can be moved. And then we'll build a path out yonder. Now we need some decorations. Let's get that down. So one star, two star, and three star. Put the garden on the route. This thing has the luxury building. It actually needs another house. How about that? Let's build another beaver house. I, I don't know. Maybe we've overdone it on beaver houses. That's possible. Do we have any lizard houses? We'll build one lizard house for that one lizard. Oh, we got two actually. He's got a he's got a mate. Um, we can build more. What do we need? Two green, one blue, and four yellow. So, two green, four blue, or one blue, and four yellow. Put them along here. Nice. And a plantation has no farm fields nearby. Let's build some. Actually, can we move this? We can move it. There's a better 
Why can't I? Oh, it costs one lumber and I don't have a lumber. There's a better spot right up there. All right, we'll, we'll wait on that then. Farm fields cost us nothing. We'll just build the farm fields. And some trading. Hold on. Before we pick those orders. Yeah, I'm not excited by the trading here. Reeds. Okay, we can do the reeds. But that's only 10 amber for 50 reeds. Not a good trade rate. I mean, that barely pays off the packs of provisions. Hmm. Porco. Why are you... Why are you scamming me? Um, okay, let's look at the orders. So, farm fields and deliver packs of trade of, uh, of crops. We don't have enough of those. Deliver 10 incense and fulfill the need for religion. We're kind of doing that. We get... I don't want to deliver 10 incense for these, uh, for these uh, rewards. We'll do this one. Um, Harvester's Camp. Let's move that over here. Look at all the reeds. Holy cow. Actually, let's put another guy in here. There we go. Get those quicker. So that we can trade them away. Away with these 50 reeds. Goodbye. And crystallized dew. Yeah, I don't have a use for it. That's actually quite good. How much is this stuff worth? 59. We get pretty good stuff out of it. Nice. Thank you, Sileb. That's actually probably just because Sileb likes us. We've got three standing with them. All right, I knew that another blueprint. Cooperage, meh. Uh, carpenter for better plank and luxury good production. Not bad. You know what? I will take it. Better plank and luxury good production. Where's the thing that's making our luxury goods? We will stop it. Luxury goods for one star? Nah. I'd rather make it for two stars. We'll put their competitor right beside them. Uh, Druid's Hut. We can put some ladies in that. Make incense, make oil. Don't use our food stuffs for the oil. You can make coats. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll stop at 40. 40 coats. And... Yeah, just, just make stuff as you see fit. Sure. This, we need one plank to move. We still don't have one plank, apparently. Another cornerstone. Survivor bonding, always good. Urban planning. For every 10 completed trade routes, all houses will have room for one more person. That's amazing with the specialized housing, because you have to build less specialized housing. Um, all houses have room for one more villager. Then again, we just get it. But uh, this has the opportunity for further growth, because we are going to be doing more trade routes. A complicated runic structure designed to shield the hearth from corruption. All right, I remember this. The ancient hearth's resistance to corruption is increased by 500, but blight rot cysts will take five more seconds to burn until you destroy at least 12 of them. We are, I haven't even built a rain engine yet. Um, yeah, blight rot, the cr resistance to corruption by 500. That that number is meaningless to me. It could be 10,000 or it could be five. That that makes no difference to me. I don't know what that does. I'm going to pick urban planning. I know survivor bonding is probably better. Actually, no, survivor bonding is better. We don't need. We don't need urban planning. We can afford to build houses. Plus one global resolve is always nice. Uh, trade routes. We can trade parts. We're not doing that. We can trade packs of luxury goods at two amber each. Which is not bad. I'm alright with that. It's actually a like direct 0.5 and 1.5 is two amber. So we could just trade this to a trader. But we don't get standing for it. So I'd rather get the standing. Uh, trading away the ale means we can't use it to make the luxury goods, so I'd rather make the luxury goods. And this is actually a better trade rate. Look at that, it's more than two each. Um, Etiam. But we need these four orders, right? So, trading them away would be irresponsible of me. Oh, yeah, no, we definitely don't want to trade away the trade goods. That's, that's an order we want to complete as soon as possible. This one, however, I think we're okay with trading with those luxury goods. Let's do it. Goodbye, luxury goods. Sell. Uh, plantation has no farm fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still don't have any lumber, apparently. Why am I having troubles with lumber? Are we out of wood again? We are out of wood. Where are those woodcutters? Three of them in there. Only two of them in here. That might be part of the problem. And newcomers. So, hey, lumber. 
We'll take you. I accept your offer. Um, we'll move this over here. Perfect. Look at that. We'll put beavers in there because the beavers are our backbone. We need two more houses. Not a problem. We need one more beaver house. And... Uh... I don't know. We'll, we'll build one of the lizard houses and one of the harpy houses. I know the beaver house caused a bunch of lumber, so that was probably a bad choice. I don't know if all of our beavers are ho housed. So this is definitely harder when we're not going for complex foods. Like, just... Complex foods makes our people so happy so quickly, and then they really boost their reputation. Uh, that's alright. Kind of a fun, different way of playing. Bunch of money. How are we doing on money? 40 amber. Not bad. Uh, packs of provisions could be better. Carpenter. So, instead of building, making the planks here, stop that. We'll put one there. Um, we'll make them here. We'll, we can make tools as well, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let them make tools if they want to, sure. Packs of luxury goods. That's the big one. Yeah. Uh, where do we stop on planks? We'll stop at 40, I think. And let's put a rain engine. Oh, no, we don't have a rain collector. Hang on. Build a rain collector, please. We'll build two. Put one in here. And another one right here. Actually, do we have any geysers yet? I haven't... I've not been doing a whole lot of exploring the past few runs. It's interesting. We got onto Viceroy difficulty, and I have been very careful about expanding. I don't know if that really matters. I know the hostility has increased when we when we explore, but oh, what am I doing? No, 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 stop that. Cancel. Yes. No. Uh, we already have a stone cutter. He's he's already working on that. Makeshift post for these things. Hey, is he is he finished? Okay. Oh, hey, it's a new trader, Dulahan Warlander. Um, this guy actually has packs of goods, which is hilarious. We might... Oh my gosh, they're expensive though. 2.5 each. Yeah, I don't know if we want to be buying his packs of goods. What is this? Small mystery... Ooh, what is this? A mysterious box full of surprise. Contains a small number of goods and one uncommon perk. Uncommon perk? Two rare perks? Two epic perks. Okay, we gotta try this. Gambling... So, consists of, contains a large number of goods and two epic perks. 36 amber. Let's see what it is. We got four pa 10 packs of trade goods. Which, by the way, he's selling for 2.5 each. So that's 25 amber right there. At our, at our value, it's 1.5 each. So that's 15 amber. Training gear is, uh, I don't know, some amount of amber, but it's good. Bricks, probably good. Ale, pretty good. Giant vegetables, better vegetable production, doesn't really help us. Uh, we have a plantation. And cannibalism doesn't really help us. But these had the potential to be amazing. So that's really, really neat. We got to gamble, and I would say we got our value just out of the goods. So that's pretty good. Good, get it? I can sell stuff. What can I sell to gamble more? Are our traders finishing anytime soon? Three minutes until the next one. Dang, we get 36 from that um hold on any orders completing giving us okay so we want to complete this one for sure doing that uh yeah so our packs of goods are going to be better now wow this guy is cool do we gamble again or do i just buy some stuff i don't have there's nothing i want to buy from him. so packs of building materials packs of luxury or luxury goods hang on we need five more luxury goods. We'll be able to make those soon. Uh, we could also trade them though, so, yeah. Uh, the building materials are just waiting on these packs of crops. And that's waiting on packs of crops as well. Come on guys, get the crops out. Okay. Well, he's really cool. I'm glad he showed up. That's fun. Too bad he's going to be leaving before our trade routes finish, because then if we if we had these amber, the amber from these trade routes, I would totally be gambling more. Uh, you know what? This 
Silib, you guys are making some good offers. I cannot pass this up. 16 building materials for 40 amber. We can do that. We can make more building materials. That is very worth. They are a good trading partner. Um, packs of building materials. You're working on it? Do we not have anybody more efficient? No, we don't. Hmm. We're out of amber. Uh, out of fabric. We can make more brick. Yeah, you know what? You can whatever. You can do both. That's fine. Uh, low on fuel, though. We really need more wood. Hmm. It's so funny how that works out, eh? Some games I have just way more wood than I know what to do with, and some games I'm lacking wood, even though I have woodcutters. Uh, even though I have beavers as my woodcutters. Sir Renwald Red Redmayne is coming along. Hmm. That's another... No, he's not new. We've, we've seen him before. We need more planks, which requires more wood. Maybe we should build another woodcutter. Uh, bathhouse, guildhouse, tavern, and market. That's cool. What do we want? Leisure and luxury? That keeps our beavers happy. Uh, Guildhouse for luxury. Hang on, quickly. I'm... What are the effects here? So this is the trading one, right? Every one, one, oh my gosh. Plus one global resolve every 75 amber. We want this regardless of whether we actually supply the service. Guild house, build it out here immediately. I don't have the goods for it. Oh, oh, 40 lumber. Oh no. Okay, let's get another woodcutter down for sure. Uh, Woodcutter's camp. Holy crap, I forgot where it was. I never build them. It's like, it's rare. It's rare that I build those. <laughs> Only twice every game. Um, this guy's working on a worm tongue nest, gathering some insects. Which in turn gets us some pigment, which we cannot turn into scrolls because we haven't found anything that makes scrolls yet. Oh wait, have we? Oh, maybe we have. Yeah, yeah, we have the druids hut. That's right. These guys can make... Oh, incense. I'm s no, yeah, we haven't found anything that makes scrolls. We probably have so much pigment. We can put uh, one rain collector here, one rain collector here, and there were some strange sounds. What was that? Oh yeah, yeah, our people are dropping resolve. That's bad. Low on fuel. That's bad as well. What's going on here? So services, we don't have the education services. That's a real bummer. That's why our people are dropping. Um, yeah. Oh well. We're, we're back to good. We didn't lose anybody. Uh, fiber delivery, we don't want that. Traders will arrive quicker and plus one additional trade route active slots. That could be good. We have a dye extractor. I'm sure that's been doing a lot of work for us. We have as much pigment as we could possibly want. We're not producing ale. Let's go for the trade logs. Faster traders. I am a fan. And we can put some beavers. Oh, we need more beavers. Let's take them out of the inefficient things. Actually, hang on. Do we have room? We could put a lizard in here. Plus one global resolve. And newcomers. So from here we can get some more beavers for copper. Let's uh... More bricks are more useful I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the copper. Put some more beavers in there. Now we can sell stuff. I, I'm I'm interested in selling to Silid because they've been very good trade partners to us. Packs of building materials. 15 packs of building materials for 40 amber. I think we have to. How about <laughs> all the bricks? Where where are we getting all these bricks? What happened? How did we get so many? I don't know, but it's good. 45 bricks for 30 amber is probably worth it. I just want to keep trading with these guys. They've been great. Uh, how are we doing on bricks? What the heck? I, I can't even tell. It's all jumping around so fast. Do we have no bricks? That, no, 18 bricks up there. Okay. And these guys are told to stop when we're at 20. So how did we have so many? I don't know. Maybe we completed orders that gave it to us. Hey, look at that. We have 51 luxury goods? What is going wrong here? Hang on. Okay, so... Uh... I don't know. I don't know why we have so much stuff. I'm actually going to hold off on delivering these. Let our impatience keep growing because we are 
as soon as we complete those, we lose some impatience, which means we lose some resolve because we have rebellious spirits. Right there. For a moment there, I thought that we didn't. Um, yeah, there we go. So if we were to complete those two orders right now, we would not have happy harpies, which means we wouldn't be gaining reputation. Uh, our new trader friend should be showing up soon, right? Yeah, it's pretty close. And we want a building. We're getting a building very, very, very soon. Right? Oh, maybe not. No, no, no. It's a whole other reputation. Sorry. I misspoke. Tools. We have 47 tools. Let's open some caches. That will get us reputation. I know I was just... No, 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 no. no. What am I saying? What was I was just talking about not doing that because we want to get the reputation from our people. Uh, okay, so we got somebody to trade with. That's exciting. What have you got? You have stuff that makes our people happy. Oh, you don't say. So, lizards are already happy, but we could use some pies, we could use some biscuits, we have 70 ambers, so we can buy all this stuff. Nobody wants porridge, right? So, we can make some jerky, we can make some, buy some skewers. Uh, that's actually all of our money. Dual brewing tools, we're not using that. Roots every time you discover a glade, we're not even doing that. Um, trade just arrived quicker. I, that's, that's a maybe. That's a maybe. Lumber. Apparently, <laughs> planks would probably be good. Uh, we're probably doing okay with our third woodcutter. So, let's trade all of our amber. And... Some of our building materials. Sure. Alright, our people are going to be happy now. What trade routes do we have available to us? Packs of luxury goods. We can certainly afford to do this. Goodbye. I, I, just don't, I don't understand. How do we end up with 50 packs of trade goods? We're still going up. Like Luxury goods. Did we... Hold on, hold on. Did I not put a limit on it? I don't even know where they're being made. Packs of luxury goods. Ah, uh, that's what happened. But is that bad? Oh, it's bad when they're using our scrolls and incense. Oh my goodness, I should have thought of that. Oops. You guys. You guys. Let me just boost your production. You're doing so well. Wow. Wow. Uh, did I put a limit on the planks? Yes, I did. Scout to idle. Oh, no. That's because I don't want you doing it. We have happy people. We're going to keep our people happy for as long as possible. Get as much use out of that as we can, and then we'll do all the flat bonuses from orders and caches. And uh, how are we? So that's two from that, and we need some more building materials, so we'd have three. And then, oh, you know what? Let's go 25. Let's just keep making packs of crops. Where is that being done? Is that up here? Yeah, packs of building materials. Hold on. Yeah, no, still, that's the only one. So, let's go 25, 30... Yeah, 25. Let's do 25. That's for one of those. How are the beavers not happy? I don't understand that one. We can put more houses. Beaver house. You have a beaver house, and you have a beaver house. We need more people here. Oh, how about that? We also need a guild house, which requires planks. Hang on, no, cancel, cancel the beaver house. We'll build something that doesn't require planks. Uh, lizard house, sure. And another harpy house, just in case. I'm not counting. Counting's hard. Uh, we got another blueprint. What do we get from this blueprint? Mm, no. I want scroll production. Give me scroll production, please. Oh, yeah. Three star scrolls. Uh, can I put it between the flames? Yeah. And trading? We can trade more to Silib. Silib, I have luxury goods for you. Keep buying my luxury goods. Wait a second. What's, what's with this trade? What? What is this trade rate? You guys were giving us way better before. Trade the tools. Do we want to do that? I don't know. Trade the building materials. No, we're not going to do that. We, we want them. Oh my gosh. Is that ever a good trade rate though? Oh my gosh. 14 for 34. How can I say no? 
Oh my goodness. Alright. You can take our tools as well. You guys are the best. Uh, can I get reputation for trading? Trade routes. I think there was actually a cornerstone for that. It was like every 60 amber or something. We'd be way past that. I'm still not absolutely certain whether that applies to trade routes though. Because is every 60 amber traded? It doesn't specify trade routes, and a lot of the time it'll specify trade routes for things. What's going on? Why are people unhappy? Uh, okay, hold on. You guys need to calm down. They, they calmed down. They didn't leave. That's fine. So we'd get plus 200% goods from, uh, from people joining us because of our hearth levels. That's cool. Hidden reward gets us very few. Uh, all trade routes are faster by 40%. This is when we'd want it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, another trade route for Silib. More tools. Do we want to do this? That's so much amber for tools. Hold on. 61 tools. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Sure. We're only doing this because we like you guys. A woodcutter's camp needs to be moved. Okay, so let's open some camp. Some. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're not opening glaze. We're having fun trading. Newcomers, join us. We could get some parts. We'll just take some other stuff. I don't know. How, how are we doing on parts? Ten parts. We're fine. Uh, I'm going to build more houses that don't require planks. Oh, they're doing it. They're building the guild house. Watch this. Water resolve spike. So we're going to put... Oh my goodness. Um, guilds welfare... Oh, sorry. Hang on. Quickly, just the thing that's making the luxury goods. Tax the luxury goods. Don't use the wine. Too late. I, I should have thought of that. We're building a luxury thing. And our beavers would like that. So, with one guy, traders arrive 50% quicker. Nice. With three guys... Plus one global resolve. Every time you sell goods worth 75 amber. Let's see how much this boosts our resolve. So it says sell. It doesn't say with trade routes. It boosts it by plus six. Or plus seven. Some amount. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, we want to be making scrolls here. Come, let us educate ourselves. Don't make ale, don't make tools, just make scrolls. Uh, use the pigment, don't use the wine. And you can do whatever you like with this stuff. No limit. Have at it. Small trappers camp. Let's move that. We've had only one guy there, apparently. Oh, it's Sother. Sother's the cool guy. Well, he's not the gambler, but he's cool. All right, he gets us all these things. We want the wine. Please get us the wine. We want the incense. I think we're fine on incense. We have like 200 something incense. We don't need more. Uh, what do you have down here? Pigment production. We are fine on that. Scrolls production. Yeah. Drizzle duration. Sure. <laughs> Look at all our money. Storm duration. Sure. Uh, coats. Why not? I'll buy everything you have. Lumber. We could use some more. Why not? Tea. Why not? It's nice to have some tea. Let's just buy your flower. Let's just buy everything. <laughs> Oh, wait. Jeez. Can I... Oh, yeah, I can just right-click everything. Right-click, click, click, click. We don't want your um, amber. We have... Oh, we don't have enough amber. We... <laughs> Let's trade some of our 119 luxury goods. Holy cow. We are so wealthy. All right, it's, it's time to end this game, I guess. Um, this trading thing is insanely strong. Wow. But we don't have fabric. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Get out there. Finish these caches. Oh, wait. That's not a cache that we can use. Okay. Somebody get out there and get us some more tools. Uh, is that it for caches? I guess so. Well, we're going to win on reputation very quickly anyway. We're getting one per minute. In fact, I'm not even going to click any buttons. Just watch that rise. Uh, flat brain mill. We're not making flour. That's okay. Just look at the happiness. Go. Amazing. So cool. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, yeah, there's 75 from the cash. And another small... No, no small bit. Just going up at plus 1.16 per minute. We don't need orders at this point. Plus 0.94. Because the lizards are unhappy. Oh, no! That's okay. Our, our beavers and our harpies will carry us to victory. Wow. The Reef. Win a game on the coral, in the coral forest biome on Viceroy difficulty. Discovery 5. Discover 250 glades. We, we, I think we only opened three glades that entire time. And some of them were small. Like, we, we did very little opening glades. Trade goods worth 5,000 amber. We certainly did that. We certainly did some of that. Wow. Just trading really gets out of hand, doesn't it? Um, so next we'll be going here, but first let's look at the smoldering city. Three deeds. Oh, what's this? A new aesthetic decoration. Coral growth. Some experience. And a new embarkation bonus. Whoa, royal permit. You gain a new embarkation bonus to choose from when starting a settlement. Royal permit. I don't know what that is. We'll have to look at that. Uh, upgrades. We have 88 foodstuffs. Now, we were going up this tree here. I don't care about these next two things. Timed orders might be interesting. But this might be useful sometimes. This would definitely be useful. And this would definitely be useful. So we'll, we'll make our way there. Unlocked. 